What's going on guys? It is your boy Javrian here back here again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my post Madden 20 beta thoughts and stuff like that. First things first, EA, you guys need to fix your servers. I live in the same city that EA Sports Tiburon is in. And for some reason I always disconnect out of the games. I don't know why, but it's always an issue with me and the EA servers. I, I'll be chilling and next thing you know... I get kicked out of them like every five minutes, especially on Madden 19. And right before the Madden 20 beta came out, I don't know what they were doing to the servers, but I couldn't even play a franchise game for more than five seconds. So fix the servers with that. So um, my final beta thoughts is the game is polished. Like I said in my initial thoughts, the game is polished and it's, I'm not going to say it invented something new. But it just built upon what was already there basically what i told one of my dudes on twitter it's like going from an iphone 4 to an iphone 4s now a lot of people are going to be like oh my god it's nothing big but if you guys know about technology and stuff like that the iphone 4s was a revolutionary thing that happened it introduced siri it added a new processor inside the iphone 4 base model basically the iphone 4s was a newer version of the iphone 4 updated graphics updated speed updated overall software in general so that's why i compare madden 19 and 20 just like that now it's not saying madden 20 is bad or anything i'm just saying based off of what i've seen it's a lot more polished uh one thing that i really liked is the qb sacks now in madden 19 uh there's just one sack to where like you get spun out I, the defender will grab you by your waist and spin you and it's pretty much a fumble almost every single time unless you have a quarterback with a high carrying or like a quarterback that can like it, it's like a running back like Cam Newton or a quarterback like Lamar Jackson sometimes he's gonna fumble the ball pretty much every single time and it's very annoying but now they have new quarterback sack animations and it's actually looked pretty realistic and I'm like okay that's kind of cool and there's a lot more animations when it comes to wide receiver db battles and i just see a lot more potential now will they build upon this throughout the year i don't know because they only do like one major patch per year which is why a lot of their games die and which is why i just think they should just go to a subscription based game from that um nevertheless i'll say the gameplay wise it's all right i'll give it a b plus B plus right now with a C actually with an A plus potential it could become great but we'll see what it got to go to so I got some notes and stuff like that and I got some questions in my group chat that I'm gonna address so right now I'm gonna say franchise have that year where elite talent is in the free agency so I was doing a little franchise and I believe I was in year three and I seen late late in Vander Esch and Darius Leonard in the free agency. I forgot who else was in there too, but two of the top best outside linebackers and, and Madden wise, cause these guys were like 95s and like 94s, just in the free agency chilling. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So, you know, I went ahead and signed them. But I was like, damn, like, okay, they just go ahead and do that. I feel like the only reason why it's like that because the um, somehow the rookies were in the game, but they were like, a, 60 overall like Colin Murray was a 61 overall yeah I know it's not the official ratings but I was like eh, I don't know hopefully all this stuff gets tuned out. I'm gonna do a feedback thing with EA Sports and let them know how I feel so all pro I feel like is the best starter for when it comes to sliders because all Madden is you already know how all Madden is it cheats you all that type stuff however um, in my last two hours of playing, I did try like some Madden 19 sliders, all Madden, and I inputted them into Madden 20. They kind of were realistic, but a lot of, like the quarterbacks are throwing the ball away a lot more. Uh, they were getting outside the pocket. They were playing a lot more smarter, but it's like pretty much any time you throw in the coverage and there's like a 1v1 about to go on, it's pretty much going to be a pick. I'm not, I, if it's a good corner. It is gonna be a pick and I also gonna say this um cause I, I didn't write this in my notes the draft itself I feel like they'd be doing a little bit too much sometimes because they'd be trying to cater to random stuff but this is how I feel 
make the draft completely random don't have like set specific builds and stuff like that because now they have like five eight running backs back up in here who are elusive backs and i'm like okay it's about damn time because we when the last time you seen a five eight running back in the draft in madden you see five nine but you don't see five seven five eight stuff like that but i know in madden 19 they had like all the power backs would be like 5'11 to like six foot three and have like an 82 to like 85 speed and they will always have like an a plus strength so it's like they kind of go based off those builds but i feel like the draft is a, more, a lot more unique and more organic because i was drafting a lot of people uh later in the draft i, I guess i'll say and they were not the prototypical power back they actually were elusive back and i was actually surprised i was like okay bet so they kind of changed up the draft and stuff like that. there's a lot more gems in the draft too so the first overall pick might not be really the first over the first overall pick he's projected to be there but he's like a third round talent so that happens a lot i just don't i have i hope it doesn't happen a lot all the time because there should be some years where there should be a sure fire first overall pick so we don't have to worry about that now the draft logic is questionable though because in year four or five the vikings had a quarterback he was 86 overall superstar x factor i believe he's only like 26 and they just paid him but he had an achilles tear so I guess this is why they drafted the quarterback number one overall, but I don't. That still makes no sense. If you have a quarterback who's a superstar X factor, who's not really injury prone, he just was injured that one year, Achilles tear. Um, 26 weeks, he should be back by week one of the NFL season. So I I don't know why they drafted a quarterback, and he and the quarterback was like a superstar X factor. So I'm like, okay, so this game makes no sense. So sometimes the draft logic is kind of weird. So going more on the franchise side, uh, regression is a lot more realistic. However, it should be based off of stats. For example, I saw Aaron Rodgers um, as a 68 overall when he was like 38. Now, this is how I feel, how the actual EA um, adjusters do year by year. They would have had Tom Brady always at a 90 something because he played consistent and always played great. So what I said in my notes is if Aaron Rodgers is slowly declining year by year, each stat should decrease. Um, each stat that decrease should be an attribute decrease or something similar. Like we've seen a lot of older quarterbacks like Tom Brady not lose seven awareness as they got older, which makes sense. Like quarterbacks used, I know the reflection, I mean the reaction time still isn't there, but awareness shouldn't just be reaction time awareness should be knowing what a defense is doing and stuff like that so if an older player is still performing good like based off their stats alone then their rating should be somewhere similar to where it was the previous year now the only thing that should regress is things like the physical things like speed uh some throw power yeah and like agility and stuff like that but other than that i feel like everything else should be kind of go based off the stats like if you had a bad year you would lose development trait in matter 19 but if you have a you're just going to go down no matter what in matter 20 so it's like the regression is kind of weird but i shouldn't be seeing those 68 overall aaron Rodgers if he's still throwing for 30 something touchdowns a year he should still be at least like an 83 <laughs> at 38 because i Okay, Peyton Manning was like a 75 overall when he was like 38. But still, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. And my last thing about this, Patrick Mahomes is a glitch. Like, they they legit made Patrick Mahomes, Michael Vick, but slower. You can scramble backwards and throw the ball off your back foot while running backwards with Patrick Mahomes. And he still throws a 60 yard. I'm not lying to you guys. So, hey, look. This, I'm about to give you the prototype for a franchise build, okay? Draft Patrick Mahomes, draft Tyree Kill, draft John Ross, draft any other fast wide receiver, draft a receiving back like who's Tariq Cohen. Don't worry about O line, run the air raid offense, and then get your defense, get like a fear monger on defense. You're winning it every year. <laughs> I, 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 you're winning it every year. No cap, no cap at all. So yeah, that 
right there is my notes for Madden 20. I said a lot of things in Madden uh, in the previous video, so just go based off of those two things. And thanks you for the feedback on the video, because I actually didn't think I was going to get that much love. I appreciate that. Now going to some questions, I put in my group chat, I told them to ask me some questions. And my first dude, Josh, he said, does it look different? Are the players moving different? Does it feel like a typical cookie cutter matter? Answer the first question, yes, it looks different. This um, game is very polished, probably the best looking Madden I've ever played on. Are the players moving different? Yeah, the players are actually moving different. The CPU does like this little wiggle thing to where you can't like, some, they will try to avoid getting tackled and stuff like that. It's a lot more organic movement with the offense alignment and defense alignment. And only thing I still don't like is how quarterbacks start scrambling and then they start running like their legs be extra extended it's just gonna be a process you can't really complain but it still is overall organic movement and stuff like that uh does it it just feel like a typical cookie cutter matter um the full game isn't released so i was just playing on a beta build of the game so they still got a month they got over a month to fix things so I'll say it's not a really typical cookie cutter Madden. I'm not going to say they reinvented a wheel. However, it feels better, smoother. And I feel like you'll get a lot more enjoyment out of this Madden than Madden 19. Because Madden 19, I I don't know what Madden 19 was. It That's why I didn't upload it. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. So to answer your question, it doesn't really, it doesn't feel like a typical cookie cutter matter. If you didn't play 19, if you went from, if you go from 18 to 20, you'll see a difference. My dude Dylan said, "Tell me they fixed the constant glitching." Um, constant glitching. There's always gonna be glitches in Madden because there's glitches in like a lot of things. Because you gotta think about it. There's 22 different, or well, 21 different AI moving at the same time trying to configure. A certain play so that's like a different type of code and stuff like that not to mention the referees there too so that's more things you got to comprehend and it's just all like a big mesh of things to go with that so you can't necessarily say the glitches are not there because it's gonna be a glitch in every single game you play so it, a legacy issue there's some in there but it's getting a lot better. Like my very first game, I played the Pro Bowl. I don't think that's a good representation of how Madden should play out because the Pro Bowl, you literally have every single best player in the league on team. So you got 99 overall defensive line going against a 99 overall offensive line, which the AFC offensive line isn't a 99, but like that D line, I, as soon as I hit the ball, I got sacked. Like that's how crazy it was. But and then some of the offensive linemen would have blocked too, because I saw Quentin Nelson. He would not. He'll just get frozen sometimes. I'm like, oh, it's not really a good sign. So constant glitching is not there. I didn't see as much glitches as I did in Madden 19, but I did see some. Like I was playing my homie yesterday, and Demarcus Robinson literally dove forward through his guy and caught a touchdown from Patrick Mahomes while he was doing that backwards cheese stuff. Uh, hey, I'm just saying. And he said, are linebackers jumping 20 feet in the air? No, they are not. I haven't seen that. Granted, there is some abilities in Madden to where linebackers can jump that high. I don't know which one. I didn't really see any because I, I didn't really re get to read all the archetypes and stuff like that. But some linebackers can jump that high and get a pick. But it's very few. I think it's like only Luke Keighley and Bobby Wagner. Not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. But anyways, guys, that's it's been a long video enough. I didn't even think this video is gonna come out to be 15 minutes. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about Madden 20. If you guys played it, um, it's being with Javrian. Uh, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is Javrian GVO, just like my name down there, but with GVO at the end of it. My Facebook is just Javrian. Follow me on Instagram too, it's just Javrian. And I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna be uploading some more. Uh, just let me know what you guys want me to upload. I really don't want to upload on Madden 19. I just got NBA 2K19, and I still play Fortnite. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later, uh, and peace. Love y'all.